Why are a girl's health never at 100%? If it's not her period, it's a headache. If it's not a headache, it's cramps. If it's not cramps, her stomach hurts. If it's not her stomach, she's tired. <laughs> to anyone that needs to hear this, right? No woman like to be cheated on. That's the worst thing you could do to a female. If you don't like the relationship you're in, just break it off. Let her leave with a clean heart. That's called caring. Why do so many black women have fibroids? And I'm basing this off of my own findings. Theoretically speaking, I am a life coach and a black woman myself. I have friends who have had fibroids who are African-American women. I have coached hundreds of thousands of black women with fibroids. And there was a direct connection between everybody's stories. And I'm going to tell you what it is. Toxic, abusive men. Being in a relationship with an abusive, narcissistic, sociopathic, psychopathic black man did this. Because she is carrying so much stress, trauma throughout her body that she began to manifest fibroids in her womb. And ladies, if you're not in a toxic relationship or marriage, then you have an abusive mother and father that is causing your fibroids. Stop dealing with toxic people. Your body will react to it. Trust me. 60 seconds of what narcissistic sociopathic abuse does to your body when you're in it. Hair loss, dysregulated periods, or an intense amount of new symptoms with PMS. Suddenly get IBS or an intense amount of digestive issues because of the psychological damage that is completely fucking your gut biome. Under your eyes, circles, bad. Related to your kidneys and adrenals, lower back pain, weak legs, jaw tightness, migraines, you may get diagnosed with fibromyalgia. You literally feel like you've lost your like soul. Like you just say yes to things because you're so fucking defeated. You don't even engage in arguments anymore because what's the fucking point? You either have gained a shit ton of weight or you have lost an immense amount of weight. Think of all the emotions that the body is holding in from this shit. And emotions are energy. Emotions are chemical. Emotions are health. You can heal. The Guardian just shared this article sharing that two thirds of UK women have bad work experiences due to periods. In a survey of more than 2,000 women by the Chartered Institute of Personnel and Development, 69% said they had a negative experience at work because of their menstruation symptoms. As you can see, a lot of this is caused by polycystic ovary syndrome, premenstrual dysphoric disorder, or even endometriosis. Now, this is actually so common, and so many people have a lot of these conditions. Why are girls' health never at 100%? If it's not her period, it's a headache. If it's not a headache, it's cramps. Dismissing women's health issues is one of the biggest medical injustices women face today. When a woman leaves the doctor's office, oftentimes she feels unheard, dismissed, not believed, misdiagnosed, underdiagnosed, or not diagnosed at all. And if she seeks treatment, she may even leave without treatment, like with menopause and perimenopause and all the misinformation around hormones. Or her symptoms or her pain is ignored, like with PCOS, and endometriosis. Now, heart disease is the number one killer in women, but we use the same drugs, same dosages, and same treatments as women because we lack the research. So instead of sidelining women's complaints, we need to fund research around women's health. And I encourage you to be your own advocate. Find a like-minded professional who can help you find the root cause of your symptoms using the right tools, tests, and diagnostics and treatments designed for women.